Today's video is about creating a correct size dynamic block. Students have come to me asking me why their text is messed up and not the correct size between blocks. You can see that this block is the same size as this one, but this block here is not the correct size. You always want to have the text to be the same size so that it's readable. This block of text is not annotative as you can see up here. It shows up correctly on here, but in this one, it is not correct. The same goes for this block here. To fix this, you basically either have to make sure that the text is annotative or make sure when you're creating the block, make sure that that block is annotative. Within model space, you can see that none of the other annotative objects show up. If you want to see annotative objects that aren't showing up, click this button here and I can see that now those items show up. But the reason why they did not show up is because if I were to turn this off again and I click to here, you can see I have a 1 8 inch size annotative object and a 1 quarter inch size annotative object. But if I were to go to say a half inch, they're going to disappear again. The reason why is because there's no scale attached to those objects. So if you want to attach scales to objects, you can either set this button here so that as I change a scale, those objects will be added in. So if I change it to uh, 1 64th, they're going to be gigantic, but they're also going to be added in so that if I were to go and turn this off and I go to say 3 16th, they're going to be off, but I go back to that 1 64th, they're going to be back on again because they were added automatically by the lightning bolt here. If you want to manually put them in there, you can just left click onto the object and then go down to annotative scale in your properties and then just click off here and then you can add and delete ones that you don't need. So if I wanted to get rid of that 164th one that's gigantic, I can just click it, delete and hit OK. And now whenever I go back to 164th, make sure the lightning bolt is off, though the rest of the text changes, but you can see that one was removed because I added, I manually deleted that object. Same thing goes for down to here where this was set to one to one. I can't see anything. So if I click on here, I can now see those objects without actually having to add that scale into it. Many students will make the mistake of creating a block or going into a block that already has text, double clicking onto it and going into the text options here and clicking on annotative and then clicking OK, thinking that that will actually fix the actual block. But what that will only do is change the size of the text within it. So if I were to go in and I click on my lightning bolt and I click on to here to add my one eighth inch, it makes a gigantic one inch size because they created it full size uh, first. Instead of actually realizing that when you create a annotative block that you want the attributes uh, to scale along with the size of the block, you have to actually make the block very small. So for this bubble to actually scale correctly, I would first have to create a small bubble that is about, let's start with a diameter of one inch. And my attribute is going to be text, enter text, default of one. I'll create it for middle center. And instead of my text height being nine inches, I'm going to select it to be annotative and I'll make it 1 8 inch high text. I'll keep it in lock position and I'll specify on the screen. And I'm going to specify right here for the center. It's okay if it goes off like that. The reason why this came up gigantic is because it's 1 8 inch. Okay? Just make sure, you know, take a look down here. Make sure you're sending it to 1 to 1 when creating the original block. So now I have an attribute here and a block size with a diameter of one inch. I'm going to make it smaller later. Uh, I'm going to type in B for block. I'm going to say bubble, select my objects, pick a point. I'm going to put it down here. And then here is where you want to click on annotative to make sure that the, the whole entire block plus the text is going to be annotative. Now when I click OK, it's going to ask me, hey, do you want to make that an object and say yes. Uh, and now when I change the size here. I'm going to click on my lightning bolt again and I'm going to click up to be 1 8 inch. You can see there goes my size and you can see this one still hasn't been fixed but now you can see it's a, a larger bubble plus the text as well. 
if I now want to go in and change the size of the bubble, I can I can go inside and just type in BE for block edit, click OK, and go, you know what, I want to actually make this a bit smaller. Uh, so if I do want to make it smaller, I can just kind of bring it in. Let's say instead of one uh, diameter, I can either change the, the grips. We always, always want to do uh, via the dimensions here. If you do scale it down, make sure to place this bubble back down to the 0, 0 point down here. If I were to type in 0, 0 right now, it stays where it is. So you want to make sure to type in uh, hashtag 0, 0, and that will put it back down here. The reason why hashtag is because my dynamic input is on. Uh, what dynamic input will do add an at sign automatically for you. So if I turn that off and do that same exact move, right here and I type in 0 comma 0 you see it actually will go to 0 comma 0 uh, again that's because of the dynamic input is doing an at sign for you uh, another way a way to get around that was just to type in hashtag 0 comma 0 so now I can close off this block editor save the changes back into it and you can see it just kind of uh, moved around a little bit uh, another quick way to fix that is to type in our good old friend Batman I can select this block hit up sync again, and it'll pop it back in to where it is, if that ever happens to you. The reason why I moved up, it stayed up there, was because of that shrinkage. So to fix this block over here, you can either left click onto it and hit delete, and then just copy over the, the new block that we have that's correct, that is now the correct size. Uh, or if you have lots and lots of blocks that, you know, you don't want to go through the time and go through and fix either, all of them, you can tr use the... Uh, express tools replace block and select the wrong block this is bub here say okay replace it with the new one that we just fixed which is the correct one and say okay uh, then it says you want to purge out the old one yeah I want to get rid of that old one and the old one will disappear uh, so go into our block or actually no let's just go into our edit attribute because this is gigantic right here so let's type that into 1 8 inch click OK, and that brings it back down. Now let's type in Batman, select that block, sync, and it pops it back up. So this is the pain that's always uh, with creating blocks that they don't know what's going on. If the block is going to be scaling together, it's an annotative object text object that you know is going to change sizes from uh, layout to layout. You can see this is my 1 8 inch. This is my 1 quarter inch. I'm going to turn on my lightning bolt here. If I change it from 1 8 inch, it shows up just fine. If I change it down to 1 quarter inch, it disappears on me. If that happens, type in Batman again. You just basically got to sync it back into place. If I select this block, hit sync. And hit OK, it'll pop it back into place. This shows the importance of creating a block correctly the first time. If you do move things though around and you find that stuff is jumping from the location, it, it moved up and out of the way and you don't know what's going on, type in Batman, B-A-T-T-M-A-N, because it's the block attribute manager, select the block and hit sync, and it will pop it back in to where the original location of the uh, attribute was located in the block. So that should fix the issue uh, if you have uh, multiple, you know, wrongly created blocks uh, throughout your object. If you just messed up the first time, my suggestion is to recreate it, create it right the first time, place where your attributes are going to go, uh, create the correct size as well, and then just pop in that block and then get rid of the old one. Just purge it out of the system, get rid of the old one, put in the new one. Uh, that way, you know, you're starting off on the right foot and won't have to worry about attributes floating and going off into all other locations.